<clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to our talk, uh, how we use thematic challenges to cover content gaps and activize the community of Wikimedians. My name is Natalia Schibalova. I am fundraiser and PR specialist of Wikimedia Czech Republic since uh, September 2021. And with me today, there is Klara Joklova, executive director of Wikimedia Czech Republic. Uh, she's been doing this job since March 2018. Thank you guys for being here with us today. Uh, we would like to share with you the topic that uh, has been with us for the last two years. Uh, the the aim of this uh, was um, to focus our work more or on something that happens uh, and for the whole Czech uh, community. What does these challenges look like? What we are talking about? It's always an editing or photo challenge or a contest that is focused around a specific topic. Uh, we will get uh, back to that uh, later. Uh, it usually lasts around a month. Uh, last year, I think for all of our four challenges, we even choose a longer period of time, I think around six weeks. And it's always a mix of several online and uh, usually on-site events like editathons. These two things are uh, essential, especially for uh, which target group you would like to uh, address, because this online contest is always better for our long-term uh, Wikimedians, for our long-term members. And on-site events usually attract newcomers and that it's something we are aiming. The goals of the challenges are mainly to attract new editors, to motivate uh, Wikipedians that already create, uh, to create more content and even uh, articles or photos on a given subjects for Wikimedia pro projects. We will get into the um, topics later. Also, uh, we like to attract attention of media and public to Wikipedia and the given subject. So we send out press releases and do a whole uh, PR um, stuff. And uh, we also um, ask influencers to help us just to get it out there. The other thing that really helps us focus and cooperate better, it's that we link these challenges, these topics of activities to all uh, all our programs. We have th three types, three main like program groups, which is like educational programs, community programs and partnership programs. But all these three programs uh, join the forces for this main topic. Uh, and these two last two uh, bullet points, that means like attract the attention of general public, that means attention of media, and this linking of activities uh, led to actually choose the right topics for us and hold them in the longer term period. That means uh, to have uh, yearly challenges on the same topic. So we are busy all year round and uh, we divided our uh, the, the, uh, thematic challenges into the quarters. The first quarter, which peak in March, uh, is dedicated to women. Uh, so this challenge, is, this challenge is called Women's Month on Wikipedia. Uh, June, the second quarter, uh, it's uh, uh, aimed to human rights, so that is human rights on Wikipedia. August and September, the third quarter, it's Czech Wiki Photo. This is the only and just pure photo contest, and we will talk about this later. And the end of the year, the fourth quarter, it's historical contest Czechoslovakia 1948 to 89. This long communist period in our history. Uh, this uh, as well uh, allows us to make the backbone of our annual plan very simple because of course we are doing the other things. We organize more than 170 educational activities through the month. We organize different uh, other different community activities. We uh, cooperate with our partnership, but this backbone of our annual plan, it's very simple and it's very uh, understandable to all of our members and partners. And it looks actually like this. You can see these like main uh, challenges that like wrap up whole, uh, each quarter. 
we would uh, like to talk a little bit more about each of these four um, topics that we have, um, just quickly uh, to tell you what it's all about. Women's Month on Wikipedia, um, we attract specific target group, which are women and newcomers. We all probably know that only like around 10 to 20 percent of women uh, edit Wikipedia, actually. So it makes sense. We um, ask uh, NGOs uh, to help us with promotion and to take part, local institution, and we like to, which like to bring attention to certain issues. Um, for example, the underrepresentation of women scientists in the public um, eye. Uh, we cooperate with different ambassadors, for example, embassies of Sweden, USA, UK, Ireland, um, and it's a mix of several online and on-site events like editathons. Um, we also created uh, Czech Women's Wiki uh, Facebook group, where members can share their experiences throughout the year, which seem to be really helpful. <coughs> Sorry, uh, unlike the uh, Women's Month on uh, the Women's Month uh, on Wikipedia, that is uh, focused on like gaining newcomers and attract women, uh, the human rights on uh, our or like the challenge human rights is focused on uh, completing like the uh, the complicated and complex topics that means to cover the content gap. Uh, this is the main uh, difference, and our tip is always to know what's the main goal of uh, of your activities. Uh, we, as well, like uh, the other specifics of the Human Rights Month on Wikipedia on our June challenge, it's to uh, uh, go wider. Like it's it like this whole topic. It's wider than it seems. It covers topics around minorities, about migrants. Uh, about all LGBTQ plus topic, about every historical event that it's attached to human rights, uh, even to climate change. So it's very like now topics uh, that can as well easily attract newcomers. But from our experience and the, what we want really to cover, it's to like attract specific partners, which is man mainly NGOs in our uh, cultural circumstances who could cover this content gap better because this is like their field and don't, they know what they are talking about. They all know all the news and they have all the like, um, uh, they have all the sources that could be used uh, to cover this very important and very deep content gap. Uh, other specific uh, specifics of the, this challenge is that we try to uh, attract the students and we always have some kind of student participation. Last year, for example, we have like seminars for uh, Roma students in Czech Republic, which was the first time we could uh, we could offer them something something like that to be a part of uh, of Czech uh, Wikipedia. Uh, and as all the other challenges, it's always a mix of several online and on-site events. And we always attach uh, speci uh, like specific training for NGOs because we want to help them how to cover their topics better. Uh, one useful tip here, uh, we try always to plan in advance with our, our part partners and we take advantage of their existing activities and we try to join them. For example, we uh, extend this uh, challenge to be able to cover and be part of International Refugee Day. Another challenge is uh, Czech Wiki Photo. Uh, we uh, try to support quality photograph on Wikimedia Commons by that one. Uh, we mainly uh, target newcomers, uh, professional or amateur photographers who uh, like to take pictures. So we invite them to Wiki Wikimedia and uh, all the Wikimedia projects. Uh, it's a way of bringing attention to Commons and free licenses. And the challenge ends every year with an exhibition of award winning photographs in January. We have a nice uh, um, gallery of one of our partners in the center of Prague, so it makes sense for the photographs because uh, their photographs, um, their photos are seen there. Um, and also the 
exhibition or like the first day of exhibition is connected with a poetry slam event. So it's a little tradition that we have established and people look forward to it. And I think it's really lovely. We also have some sponsors uh, or partners who gave us uh, something to uh, award the um, photographers like um, some kind of editing programs for photographs and stuff. And uh, we use an expert jury of professional photographers and Wiki photographers to decide which photos are good and also useful for Wikimedia projects. <coughs> the last challenge that uh, that like uh, ends to wrap up how our whole year, it's a contest Czechoslovakia 1948 to 89. This is our only, let's say, historical topic. And the main focus is, again, to cover the content gap of a really complicated and complex topics, uh, which is as well, let's say, modern. Uh, so it's still like in the kind of progress. Uh, this is like Czech modern historical theme. So you, I think, can as well think of something similar that's like part of your of your modern history of or some like very complex topic in your own history. Uh, what we always are doing here is to involve the academic partners, teachers and students of our uh, universities. Uh, in the last year, we, we was able to um, uh, to uh, uh, so, um, to offer this uh, this to three different universities in three different cities. And it was again like mix of this online contest and uh, editathons, uh, but we connect them this time with public lectures by historians. So we could as well offer something to the general public and to the local people uh, in these three cities. And editathon culminates uh, as well one semester course for students. So uh, librarians was par part of that and but mostly universities and this academic partners uh, would find uh, uh, what like the, the last useful tip for you we always are trying to find uh, Wikipedian ambassadors that means like someone uh, experienced from the community who could cover the whole topic and lead us towards like the, our goal and be maybe the, even the face of this challenge and we was uh, very happy because one of our uh, one of our community members uh, helped us last two years to be the ambassador of this contest um uh like this uh this uh, challenges, uh, as we try to explain on the beginning, really help to gain new diverse editors and keep the current one in engaged. Um, what's important to mention here is that we know that for our like existing community, for people who was able to to find their own uh, way to Wikimedia world to editing. Um, this is just like fun. We can, uh, they can be part of the contest. They can win something. They could as well uh, get um, like a, a wiki badge for this, which we uh, prepare uh, every year for e for each challenge. So this is you can have the nice collection collection after a few years. But for a certain uh, type of newcomers and to make our uh, community to divers. Uh, there are like types of editors who appreciate our support uh, in on their way into the Wikimedia world and who as well uh, uh, appreciate to have some support on their first steps towards uh, editing, on their first bumps, on their first um, uh, not that easy experience on the beginning. And uh, so we hope that this really uh, helps to make our community more diverse. We only have like three minutes left, so I'm going to make this short, but I would like to illustrate what can bring uh, these challenges on Wikipedia's uh, Women's Month. 
which is uh, probably uh, the most successful one um, record, uh, regarding the attention of public and also the number of written uh, articles. As we all know, women find it uh, harder uh, than men to find their way uh, to Wikimedia usually. That's maybe why they're unre underrepresented in the community. Also, like only 20% of biographies are about women. So there's also there is also an element of the Wiki uh, content gap. And uh, we try to change that by inviting uh, women to Wikipedia. Um, we, um, for example, had usually have discovered by six newspapers, radio stations a year. Uh, last year in March, uh, we almost we created and enlarged almost 400 articles about women. Uh, and um, 238 uh, of them were created thanks to the challenge. So the um, uh, number of created articles uh, compared to the usual almost uh, doubled. And uh, we also got uh, six females influence, female influencers to promote the project on their social media this year, which was lovely. And uh, we get the support from uh, the U.S. Embassy, which supports us uh, financially. Also, uh, some uh, important guests from Swedish, British Embassy and uh, uh, also the U.S. Embassy come to the event. And it's just a lovely thing to do. You know, we really appreciate all the attention drawn to it. If you um, would, yeah. Yeah, it is, um, sorry, just uh, for like all the wrapping up, because we are uh, uh, we are longer again than we want it to be. Uh, here is like the six steps, how to do it. We won't go through this. I think you can find it if you really want to. And we are always here to help you uh, or share our like experiences with whatever you uh, would like to uh, like start or uh, in, uh, and as well, follow our uh, our communication channels. Uh, everything it's on, uh, of course, on Commons. We have as well YouTube channel that's some like Eng English subtitles uh, uh, for our videos that covered these challenges. So you can go through this. And if you have any other questions, we can't be there with you. But our colleague uh, Jan Beranek uh, is there on spot, so he's ready to answer. Uh, all of your questions. Uh, thank you for listening to us. Uh, it's been a pleasure to prepare this uh, presentation for you. Thank you. So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jan Beranek and I work at Wikimedia Czech Republic as coordinator of programs for editors. So basically the stuff you have just seen. Uh, I'm here for all the questions and we have about three minutes, so if anything, feel free to ask. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, if you have any questions in the future, you can always reach to us uh, through our emails, through Telegram, pretty much any channel or you can catch me somewhere later today. Okay, thank you.